Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're back in Kakariko Village. Let's talk to the Kuko Lady and start the trading sequence for the greatest weapon in the entire game. So she's got this pocket Kuko here and she's like, they're very, they're very good at getting lazy late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? Of course I have. And we're about to meet, or I should say, re-meet a person like that very shortly after getting the item here. So how do you know that I'm good at handling Kukos? Is it because I got all the Kukos back into your pen back when I was a kid? I mean, most people don't seem to recognize me from adulthood or something like that. But anyway, you'll get the pocket egg. Now what you want to do is hatch it overnight. You can just simply play the sun song twice. So I'm just going to do that, and then we can go to our next destination. Oh my goodness, a chicken has hatched! Oh, by the way, I was scouting out the area. I'll be back over here later. Uh, but I, was, I mean, I was scouting out the area for this trading sequence. Anyway, after the chicken hatches, it's the miracle of life once again. Just uh, select it as one of your items here, and then go inside this house right here. It's straight on when you enter the village, and you're going to see... Oh, God, Rosie O'Donnell's back. And, yep, look who it is. <sighs> Malon, doing all right? Mmm. Um, sorry to make you worry. Whip out the chicken! <laughs> what in tarnation? Yep, you have to wake him once again. Can a person get a little shut eye around here? And he'll be like, Did you save Melon? Thanks, I'm going back to the ranch then. Yeah! What? Did you save Melon? Thanks, I'm going back to the ranch then. Wait, I thought you give me something. Well, I did wake the guy. Oh, maybe, oh, wait, I'm supposed to meet him back at the ranch, I think. No, wait! I just remembered! Go back to the Kuko lady! That could have been a disaster if I went all the way back to the ranch. And something just fell off my shelf. <laughs> and, the, yeah, evidently that one waking up that one ultra lazy guy it would made the chicken extremely happy, happy, and now she's gonna trade me the pocket Kuko for Kojiro. And we gotta take Kojiro here over to the Lost Woods. Remember that Skull Kid that gave you a heart piece for wearing the Skull Mask and for playing the uh, Asteria song over by him? Yeah, that's the area that, that you wanna go to. All right, entering the Lost Woods here, you just turn left. I thought I would show you. <laughs> and then there's this guy right here. Oh, you remember him. He's the ultra depressed guy here. He'll be like, Oh, uh, mm. well, you just gotta wake him up with the blue Kuko here, and I gotta say, that is one dark blue Kuko. Kojiro, why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Nice guy, what? Preposterous. <laughs> you must be a nice guy, must be, you must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Okay, <laughs> and this is what I was scouting out for earlier in Kakariko Village. I was doing a little test run through here. Now, you've only got three minutes to do it! Run, run, run! By the way, if you don't have a no pay by this point in the game, which you should if you were watching this walkthrough, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, <laughs> you will, won't have any trouble getting back to Kakariko within this three minutes of time. Otherwise, you might not make it. So play an Epona song just when you get outside of the Lost Woods, or have Epona sitting right next to here set up ahead of time. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, I planned ahead this time. Go, Anope! Well, it is Epona, but I prefer calling it Anope just because it's fun. No! Don't touch the tree! No! 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 Go! 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 <laughs> All you have to do is go back over to Kakariko Village and go to the potion shop. That was the place that I uh, cut to before that I came out of because I said I was scouting through the area. I mean, just look how fast you cover uh, high. <clears throat> Hyrule Field here. You just zip through this place without any trouble whatsoever. And I'll just drop off a no pay right here. This will do. 
And now what we're gonna do is go over to the hidden potion shop that I was at because that's what that guy was hinting at before. Still, we only got so and so much time. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna make it. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna make it. That would be preposterous if you fail at this point, especially following my directions. Unless I'm actually going to the wrong place and I scouted out the wrong area, but I don't believe I did. Anyway, go up here and then climb onto the fence. Whip out your long shots, climb on top of the roof, and now hop down here. Just, oh man, I almost missed the jump. <laughs> well, that worked out. And you're at the potion shop now, and this lady will be like, oh wait, this is the wrong, no, no, oh wait, she's got, she's got the, sm wait, actually, what do you say? <laughs> What a mysterious smell. You must have something. Oh yeah, she can't see very well, but she can still smell things very good. <laughs> I forgot about that. That bum. He had to go into the forest, I see. Hey, give it to me now. Yeah, sure. Ooh, spooky. I don't know why she turned out the light there, or the light went out, but whatever. If you see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. It is the odd potion! If you don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy... Uh, I mean, you don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty true. Anyway, now what you want to do is go back over to that guy in the Lost Woods. No time limit this time, so I might as well just cut forward. Lost Woods, here we are. And now that guy is actually gone. This lady will be in his place. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Staphos. Everybody, Staphos. So he's not here anymore. So apparently he turned into a Staphos, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, show her the medicine. She'll be like, that guy isn't here. I already, she already said that, dang it! Uh, yeah, yeah, huh? Why are you repeating yourself despite me giving you the only his saw is left? That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Yes, I will! So maybe he'll, she'll be able to give the th medicine to the guy. Maybe she'll find him. I don't know. But I should also mention, um, the poacher saw here. If you recall... No, I'll be just fine, don't worry, lady. Um, if you recall, there was two uh, upgrades that you could get from those Deku scrubs back in that other area, that underground area, and that's... Yeah, you know, where they worship you and stuff like that. Well, after you get the poacher saw, you can no longer get those items for whatever reason. I believe it is a glitch in the game's programming, but... I just thought I would inform you of that now, so if you haven't gotten those upgrades, the Deku Stick and Deku Nut upgrade from bringing the Skull Mask and the uh, Mask of Truth down there by now, do so, otherwise you'll miss out on them forever, but uh, they aren't really necessary to finish the game, of course. Anyway, now what you want to do is head over to Gerudo Valley. Now that you're at Gerudo Valley, uh, oh yeah, you can cross the bridge with the Nope here. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to fully explore this place yet, just because I don't, like, want to at this point. But anyway, at Gerudo Valley, you'll notice that uh, this is now broken. So, oh wait, I actually got, already got my long shot out, but you need your long shot to get across the other side. Oh, look at that thing that looks suspiciously like a target. <laughs> and yeah, now you can cross to the other side. Now you'll see this guy right here. You recognize him from Kakariko Village, right? I am a master craftsman. Those Grudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix it, but all my workers are gone. Probably because you work them too hard, dang it. They said working as carpenters isn't cool and they want to become... And they went to the Grudo fortress to become thieves. <laughs> hey you, if you're going to the fortress, did you mind finding out my, why my workers are, what my workers are doing over there? Excuse me. Anyway, show him the poacher saw and he'll be like... But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well, my big Oron tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. Your coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Sure. Good kid, thanks. By the way, that saw looks incredibly tiny. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, that's okay. And what a broken Goron sword. Visit Big Goron to get it repaired. Hmm, very interesting indeed. If you don't know where Big Goron is, I, I should say uh, the Big Goron, Goron. He is at the top of Death Mountain, which is the place that I'm going to be going to next. So I'll just meet you over there. And we made it to the top of Death Mountain, and we are about to meet the biggest Goron in the world. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, my eyes. Oh, goodness. Oh, gracious. And he's like, my brother, open a new store in Midagoron's Blade Store. However, I am better at making blades. Highland Carpenters, praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. <laughs> anyway, show him the sword. Even though he can't necessarily see it, but at least it doesn't look like he can, but he, I guess he can. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. <laughs> yeah, needless to, he, to say, he really stresses the letters in his words. So now he wants me to go see King Zora to get some eye drops, and sure. Evidently, King Zora, is, <coughs> King Zora is also a doctor, so I get the prescription, and I will meet you over by King Zora. Woo! Ow! Just for the record, on my way up to Zora's domain, I'm going to put Anope right here in front of the entrance to it. She can't go through the water, but I'm going to have to walk back through here. I forgot to tell you, if you ever get one of those items that expire after like three or four minutes, you get the idea. Uh, if you ever use a warping song, you will immediately lose. That's why you have to travel either on foot or by horseback. Preferably on horseback because Anope is way faster than anything that you can do on foot. Anyway, let's go back to King Zora. King Z, yo, how have you been? And show... Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Hey, wait, how do I... How do I get him to... Will this work? Yes, there we go. <laughs> it just didn't work the first time. Oh, this is, well, mmm, mmm, eye drops. You might say we have them, you might say we don't. So we do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can make the drops for you. Wait, it is a he. It isn't a she, it's a he. Aha! So it is true that it's a he. Well, I made a mistake then. <laughs> But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Yeah, sure. And I get the eyeball frog. I will be quick and the. Well, it's cold. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, wait, actually, my camera is low on batteries. Um. I think I'm gonna have to charge that. Hold on. You know, you would think that I would learn by now to charge up the Canon camera every time I use it. <laughs> this one I can't plug into the wall like I can do my uh, gaming camera, I should say the one that records the game screen, so that's kind of a slight issue there, and yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to try and rush back over to the Lakeside Laboratory at, ow, at uh, Lake Hylia as quickly as I can. The best way to do it is by far just to attempt to go right through the river as it's the most direct route through this place because otherwise you have to deal with fences, twists and turns and stuff like that. Otherwise it's just a nice straight route down here and as you know with my good old pal Anope Oh boy, no, 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 no. We will be able to run across the lands without any trouble. I can get across the whole place in about a minute with a no-pay, but it takes like two to three on foot. You know uh, what I mean by across? I mean like, uh, like to another, to one, from one destination to another. Come on, an pay To Lake Hylia we go. Woohoo! My little pony, my little pony. <laughs> I just had to do that. The show, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, is actually a very, very, very good show, <laughs> believe it or not. I first heard of that show through the internet memes surrounding it, 
and I thought, well, it's probably just a meme, you know, like those pony reaction shots and stuff like that. Oh, it's definitely more to it than meets the eye. It is a very, very well constructed and entertaining show. Oh no, you have got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. An An Anope, why did you refuse to go over that barricade? Go, go, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So anyway, I recommend that you actually watch the show. For once, I'm not joking. <laughs> I am seriously impressed by the show. Anyway, now what you want to do is go into the Lakeside Laboratory. That even with that uh, bungle with Anope there, I'm just gonna turn away, turn my uh, chariot around. There we go. And now I'm gonna go inside. Even with that big bungle, it was still easy to make it to the Lakeside Laboratory. So here you go. Have some froggy! Oh, pff, dang it. <laughs> That's probably what happened to froggy all this time, is it got frozen like this and... <laughs> I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Zora's domain froze over. Those eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He is a freaky guy. <laughs> and yes, there is something I would like from you, yes. Big Oron's eye drops, I definitely need them. Yes, please give me some. And yes, these also expire. <laughs> so you might want to take them over to Big Oron as quickly as possible. I recommend that you have already planted that bean plant back as a kid in front of Dodango's cavern because that is going to give you a massive shortcut. This is the world's finest eye drops, and now we are going to go take them to Big Oron. I've never heard of eye drops that expire. These expire within four minutes. Can you believe this? Come on, admit it, this doesn't make sense. No, no, Link, get on to your steed and go. <laughs> there we go. Anope, please do not get stuck on this edge. Okay, sometimes Anope gets stuck on the edge, and you're like, ah, and I'm like, I mean, and then the viewers are like, hee hee, and you get the idea. Come on, now make the jumps this time. Make the jumps this time. Good. And now we can go straight over to Kakeriko. Well, not straight over to, to Kakeriko. It's what I have to pass through, per se. Remember, you can't use any warp songs, so don't even bother in the slightest, because you will fail instantly. If you want to try it, uh, go right ahead, I suppose. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> But yeah, if you want to try it, but I don't recommend it, uh, just try warping to uh, Death Mountain Crater or something like that, and you'll automatically get one second on the clock once you reach the place. So it actually pushes time forward when you warp in this trading sequence for whatever reason. It doesn't make much sense, but hey, uh, mo most games don't make sense. But I really shouldn't question the game logic and just believe it is true. Anyway, we get off here because we can't ride a no pay into town. No, 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 stop. Thank you. <laughs> We've only got two minutes and 32 seconds. I hope I'll be able to make it. You know what I should do ahead of time is get my bow and arrow out because I'm going to need it to climb up that wall. To the top of Death Mountain. If you recall that uh, wall just before Big Oron was a climbable wall and they have regular Skulltulas infesting the place. It is annoying to do quickly but hopefully I'll be able to do it in time. Oh my goodness! Go Link! Please you can make it! I don't want to start this from the start. Actually I think what happens when you fail at a uh, quest and you run out of time, I believe you'll be able to start at the last checkpoint per se, like say I wasn't able to make the eyeball frog, or I should say I wouldn't be able to make this uh, eye drops, take these eye drops to big on in time, excuse me. If I wouldn't do that it would probably start me back at the uh, uh, King Zora getting the uh, eyeball frog from him. Anyway, just take your good old friendly plant up and jump off here. Look at that shortcut, baby. <laughs> now I have 1 minute and 30 seconds to reach the top, and I think I will be able to do it, especially since there's no rocks for whatever reason now in Death Mountain. 
All right, getting close. I might as well get out my bow and start shooting these things ahead of time and quickly. Yes, I am using the Z button instead of the C stick. So that's definitely improving my speed and things are looking good. Uh-oh, I hear a jumping tech tight. Oh my God, it's up there. Go down there. <laughs> I got a little scared that it was gonna knock me off for a sec and ruin my entire run. But anyway, looks like we made it, and here we go. Big Oron. I have your eye drops. It'll be all right here. Woohoo! Really, you brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. <laughs> Wow, indeed. Those are some eye drops. This is stimulating. It's working great. Like Tony the Tiger. Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent. So I'll give you this to you so you won't forget. After a few, oh, I mean after a few days. Please return. Wait, just wait patiently. And he'll give you the Begoron Sword claim check. <laughs> Uh, you have to wait three days for the sword to be completed, but he's basically repairing that broken sword that I gave to him. If you want to speed it up, just play the Song of Time six times, and I will cut ahead. Okay, this is the sixth play, if I'm not mistaken, of the Sun Song, and let's see if he has something for me. There we go! Let's give him the claims check, and he'll be like, That sword is my finest work! Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we got the Bigoron sword, the greatest sword in the game! It is a two-handed sword. It is freaking powerful and freaking long. Look at the size of this thing compared to the Master Sword. Um, but since people consider this thing to be really cheap, as do I because of its massive power, I probably won't be using this all that much. If at all, because I like to, you know, give the best walkthrough I can with, like, minimal items, so to speak, like using the Master Sword instead of super-powered items. Then again, I suppose this is part of the 100% aspect of it, and no, you still can't cut these signs, unfortunately. And, uh, by the way, you can get a sword from a Goron in Goron City for 200 rupees. That larger Goron inside the cave that I showed when I was a kid. Well, Link was a kid. <laughs> Well, that one will break after a few uses, but it's basically the same as this sword, except this sword will never break. So, enjoy your delightful new Begoron sword, this trading quest is complete, and I'm done with this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.